Now our wishes may be just a thought away. Researchers at Moscow State University are putting their heads together to develop a brain-computer interface that will allow people to interact with the world without moving a muscle. The revolutionary technology could give paralysed people a new lease of life. Artis Matreza put it to the test. Imagine living life trapped in your own body, unable to move, unable to speak. This is reality for many people who survived strokes, injured their spines, or suffered other damage to their nervous systems. But hope may be in sight, thanks to emerging research here in Moscow. By imagining the movement of the left hand, the patient can make the light switch on. Or by imagining the movement of the right hand, he can learn to switch TV on. Since we take the signal right from the brain, this functions potentially even in cases when the patient can't move his hands at all, when the muscle activity is zero. Alexander Kaplan at Moscow State University is developing devices that use the brain's basic electrical signals to control machines that help these people. But he thinks they can do much more. In one basic program, sensors read the brain's impulses and send the message to a computer, in this case, working to put a puzzle game together. There are several teams across the globe working on this. Kaplan's focus is on increasing the machine's efficiency, with the goal of introducing this technology for everyday use. The main thing is you can use your thoughts directly, without using your muscles. Why use your muscles if you can do the same with just your thoughts? Why do you need to press a button if you have the thought in your brain already? This is the essence of brain-computer interface. We decipher electric activity and send instructions directly, bypassing muscles. The equipment is expensive and the technology is still years from mainstream use. But for now, it's a step in the right direction. The headwear may not be the best looking in the world. They promise as the technology develops, they'll work on something that looks a little bit better. But fashion may be a small price to pay for somebody to be able to interact with the world around them. Matt Treza, RT, Moscow.